Hello, it's me again with part two, finishing off what we um, what, what we started off. Um, now this is where we got to. You know, we'd done we'd done this one, stuck it on. We'd, we'd done all the um, outlines. So we've coloured that one. We've coloured that one. We've used mica flakes on that. We've used gilding flakes on that one. And I've now just stuck twenty one, which is I've cut the opposite way down, and I've got a couple of butterflies. So what we're going to do now is just finish finish these ones. Remember, it's on self adhesive paper. So if we take the one, you could do these in different colours. You could actually, um, if you wanted, there's nothing to stop you putting little, when you've taken this off, if you wanted to then do sort of little little circles or little spots, you could do that on there and again take them off and you've got a pattern on it, but I'm not, I'm making it simple. Once you start with this, you will find so many different things that you can do. And you'll think, why didn't I think of that? All the things that you can do with sticky paper, like blue Peter all over again. Right, this time I'm just going to use the, the, the goldy green gilding flakes. So again, as you can see, it's, it's, not going to, it's not going to do it anywhere else that it's already taken it. It's only going to do it on the, on the sticky bit now. And it's not going to touch the, the butterflies that we've got. It's just going to do it. There we go. Oh, so I'm sorry, sorry, getting these back in. I have a nightmare weighing these. Right. Okie doke. So here we go. Get that one on there. If anybody lives in the West Yorkshire area, West Yorkshire in England, um, and you want to come along to um, a workshop, classes, or just to see how we go on in the shop then please feel free you now everybody's welcome three cups of tea got a bit more about that one on another one somewhere right one thing I can guarantee if you do come I'm always in a mess right so that's taking the can you see how it's done the 21 there we go so now I'm going to take the bit off the butterflies and you can keep on layering and layering and layering it doesn't matter your choices are you know it's up to you your colors right that's a butterfly there so let's have a um, here's a green butterfly now this is perfect pearls which is any of your mica powder but again you just seeing how you can mess about with it there. That's your green one. There we go. And we've got the same on the other one. And these uh, butterflies are just cut out with a, the tonic punch. And then the adhesive cuts out fine with that. And if you wanted to put a second one on, yeah, you, know, you can put a second one on and you can have it looking as if it's flying away. So you can layer them up. Just it's normal crafting, only it's you're saving on glue. You're saving on all the other stuff. And it's it, it's bling on a budget. Using sticky back paper, which is what I'm well known in the trade for. They all laughed at me. They're not laughing now. Right. Now that one is just that could then be edged, um, popped onto a card, decorated however you want. But can you see with the, the, the scope that you've got with your die cut machines, with the materials that you've got. Now that's all on one very thin piece of paper. Now you could still decoupage it, you could still do other things. But that is just how it's gone. Same sort of thing, but totally different effect. You know, that's with the mica powder. This one is now done with variegated leaves. That's done um, with the uh, variegated gilding flakes. And on this one, it's done with the mica powder. So you've just got whatever you want to do with it. So you can now just stick that on with ordinary glue um, or double-sided tape onto your card and you can do what you want. You can bling it up. Um, there's absolutely no, you know, just, just put yourself a couple of little bit of bling on there. And then another little bit on there. 
you know, the, the, the choices are yours. Put your ribbons, put your bows on, put whatever you want on. So you've now got that one. Now, one of the other things, I'm not going to do anything with this, but again, this is also cut out from one of the, um, I think it's the Planting School Book cartridge. And again, just, just make sure that you, you know, you, you, you're cutting it out on the paper and that that is, when you're doing it, I'm just going through it once more, that's the sticky side, that's the side that you're working on. So you would work on that, you would then put that one on there, put your stuff on the sticky bit, and then when you're ready, peel that off, that is then sticky. So you can layer it up and you can do you can do all sorts of um, things on it. And it was just I think I think that that's that's about it. Just one one little there'll be lots of demos coming, but can you see now that's just a piece of paper again. I've put some grass things on and I've done them in uh, mica powder and then I've put the flowers over and covered them but it's it, it, it's not rocket science and it could be neater I'm just doing it to show you the technique not you know I, I make the mess now then and again using the sticky paper this is just um, an image that I've done and just coloured it in using pro markers but then what I've done is I've stuck it onto um, a piece of square self adhesive paper trimmed it off stuck it on straight away now if you can see around the edge and it is only on the edge it's not all the way underneath that is ordinary well it's wow embossing powder can you see under there so that's and it will work you don't need any ink on it you don't need anything just just put the powder onto the self-adhesive and it works like that and the same with this one um, the colouring in is a bit crappy but never mind about that that's glitter embossing powder and that's the embossing powder so again I've done it onto two layers so there's the, the, the possibilities are endless so that's that's it for that one um, watch this space because there's more to come so this is bling on a budget again using your gilding flakes and stuff okay thank you very much